Nobody's ever asked you for this in the store, I bet you. Size 22, do you have anything? That's wild, I don't know, I don't have anything near that on the stick. That's the first one for you. I can't remember which one that is though, so it's a surprise to me. Yo, what's up, I'm Serato. I'm a sneaker customizer for the stars. I work with everyone from actors to athletes, celebrities, and influencers. In this episode, we're making shoes for my guy, the tallest player in the NBA, Taco Fall. This dude is seven foot seven. That's six inches taller than Shaq. Taco's currently hooping for Boston, splitting time between the Celtics and the main Red Claws. Taco's about to be a force in the league, so I need to trick these size 22s out and make sure he got a fresher kick than any other rookie. Yo, Taco, what's good? I got a pair for you. Can you, can you hook me up? Oh, uh, you already know. I got you, bro. I got a pair of Zoom Riders. What you want to do on them? Uh, I'm a big anime fan, so... All right, that's good. That's good. Probably, probably get some with Naruto, you know. Okay. Who's your two favorite characters? Naruto, of course. Okay. I like Jir Jiraiya. Yeah, yeah. He was a sensei. I know who that is. Can I ask you a favor? Yeah, yeah. What's up? I have two pairs, actually. So, um, can, you, can you do both? Two pairs? I mean, I don't know who's gonna have two pairs of size 22s, but uh, I'll finesse something, I'll, I'll figure it out. What are we trying to do for those? Something um, that represent my country. I'm from Senegal. So. Yeah, yeah. So um, maybe like the flag, something like that? The flag, also like a lion. You know like how, how American is the eagle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, back home it's a lion. All right, bro, I think we got it. I know you're a busy dude, so I'm gonna let you get back to it, but uh, we'll bring them out to you in a little bit and uh, see what you think. Thank you. All right, bro. For Taco, I'm customizing the Nike Zoom Rise. The Rise is a mid-top shoe with padding around the ankle and lots of cushioning beneath the forefoot to give you that extra bounce. The shoe is mostly a mesh material with a standard foam midsole and a rubber outsole. There's honestly not many shoes that come in a size 22, so we're lucky that Taco had an extra pair you could send over. Taco already sent a pair down, but of course he asked for a favor for the second pair, so we're here at the mall here. We're gonna try to see if we can find something real quick. I don't know if we're gonna find these shoes or not. It's a challenge, but uh, we're gonna see what we can do. Yo, 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 yo. What's, What's good, man? What's up, man? It's all good, you know, same day, different shit. I got a request. I don't know if you're gonna be able to do it or not. Let me hear it. Nobody's ever asked you for this in the store, I bet you. I don't know, we, like I said, we never know what's gonna happen. Size 22, do you have anything in a size 22? That's wild, I don't know, I don't have anything near that, honestly, I'm not even gonna lie. Like, 22? Size 22, you're crazy. <laughs> we have an 18, so. He ain't gonna squeeze on no 18. I feel you. Do you have anything in? Let me know. Appreciate hey, you, bro. brother. Of course, anytime. Predictably enough, they did not have the shoes. So now I'm gonna try to call the homie. He's got a factory plug. So I'm thinking he can probably scoop something that maybe is in his size range. We're gonna try to see what we can do and uh, get something in here for Taco. Yo, what's good? I'm outside. I'm on the porch. All right. My guy. Hey, I see a box. On, I see a box. What hey. you this, though? What you this? What's happening? What's happening? I heard you, you are in need of a very large order. Yeah. And you got the right shoe. Damn, oh, yeah. you came in clutch, son. What got you me. even need these for? Hey, you know, big uh, Taco Fall 76. He needs the knees. Taco? Well, if there's anybody I know that could do it up, yeah, it's you. you. It up. I appreciate you, my guy, though. Anytime, man. All right, we got both pairs. It's time to go ahead and get started. A lot of people think bigger sizes, you know, means it takes way longer, but it's all really the same. You're just painting a bigger picture. It just takes a lot more stuff. So now we're, we've got the masking taken care of, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull up the reference pieces, figure out what I need to put where, get these stencils out of the way for the inside of the shoe, and uh, we'll be good to go. So now we're gonna go ahead and uh, start painting this uh, white base layer on here, do our character uh, outlines, and then uh, do the background. Just going with the red and black colorway, because right now he's on the main red cloth, so the jerseys are red, so just give it an aspect that'll match. Now we got the line work down on the characters. We're gonna go ahead and just start painting in the portraits. And uh, once we're done with these, we're basically done with the shoes. 
the Naruto design is, you know, one of my uh, signature style pieces, you know, so it's not a big surprise Taco asked for one of these. Because of the, you know, the NBA rules are so much laxer now, they're getting to actually express themselves a little bit more. So the Naruto and all that anime stuff is real, you know, real prevalent now. You know, you're seeing a lot more of those designs. It's basically just one of those things that Moses, you know, grew up watching. So now that they're all old enough and they can get this kind of stuff and have this stuff made and wear it and show it off, you know, it's you're starting to see a lot of the childhood shows making a comeback, you know, kind of to the forefront of the NBA stuff. All right, so the other pair took a little longer than we thought it was gonna take, so we need a little more extra time um, before I had to take this trip back up to New York to drop the second pair off. So we gotta knock these out right now. I only got a couple hours to do this before I gotta get on the train and uh, head up there, so let's do this pretty quick. We just gotta go ahead and lay the design down, so I need to figure out exactly what I wanna put on here. I know he mentioned a lot about something Senegalese or something in that line was on there, something with a lion in it. We're gonna go ahead and find that, find the images, make the stencils, and uh, get into it. All right, so we got our last stencil pulled off here, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the lightning bolts and then uh, put the finisher on. Just made it in time, so we're gonna head on over, uh, grab this train, and uh, see what he thinks of these. Taco asked for a Naruto themed design. So of course I had to paint my guy Naruto on the outside of the left shoe and the Naruto image curves around the back of the shoe too. So even if you're standing behind Taco, you'll get that Naruto flavor. On the right shoe, I painted another notable character from the show, Jiraiya. Like with the Naruto art, Jiraiya curves around the back of the shoe, which gives the painting some frenetic energy. I tied the shoe together by creating a Sharingan eye pattern and overlaying it on the unpainted parts of the shoe. Overall, I think the kicks came out dope, Definitely capture the essence of Naruto. Let's see if Taco likes it. For Taco's other pair of shoes, I really tried to capture the feel of his home country, Senegal. On the heels of both shoes, I recreated Senegal's flag and added a green lightning bolt striking through the left side and a red lightning bolt striking through the right side. On the left shoe, I painted Taco's number, 99, right over the flag. And on the right shoe, I overlaid his initials, TF. I also made the swoosh on both shoes a vibrant orange so they really pop. Finally, I added my signature on the inside sole so people never forget who made them. These shoes are definitely more low key than the other pair, but I think they communicate the essence of Senegal and Taco. All right, just got to New York, pulled up at the hotel on Taco. It's the biggest bag I ever needed for two pairs of shoes, so uh, you better like your joints because it was a pain to get them up here. Taco! What's up, bro? What's good, man? How you doing? It's all good. Yo. Got something for you. Oh. So you know we had to we had to make some magic happen. Let me get you that second pair too. Mm -hmm. That's the first one for you. I can't remember which one that is though, so it's surprising me. Oh, there hey, you go. Yo. Yeah, there you go. Yo, that's tough. Try to get everything on there. I could get on there, you know, the the, the gray ones had a little bit more uh, room to work with, so Man, just that's put them on there, tough. try to make sure everything popped off, and uh, I think it came out pretty cool. I haven't done dry on a shoe yet, so that was uh, the first. Next so. game. Man, that's dope, yo. I like what you did right keep here. A, yeah, keep them a little cleaner. Good TF on it. Yeah, I had to make sure, you know, make sure it came across. Everything's gonna be real easy to read, you know, from the sidelines, yeah. so. You're real talented, man. I appreciate it, I appreciate it. Say no thanks. Yes, sir. I know you gotta get back down to it, so we're gonna get about your hair. I'm taking these downstairs right now. Hey. I'm be like, yo, I ain't got this. <laughs> Facts. You know my vibe, it's over time. Oh, I didn't see you there, my fault. I was just getting a little jiggy. <laughs> Check out the rest of the videos right here and subscribe. Do that for us. Come on, we growing. We do this for y'all.